This video isn't intended to be the only uh, tuition that you have in uh, casting the hand into the position of safe immobilisation, but it should be a good uh, resource for you as a reminder. When we're casting the hand into this position, what we're aiming for is for the wrist to be in slight extension, the MCP joints to be as close to 90 degrees as possible, and the PIP joints to be straight. Uh, if you're casting the thumb separately, then the thumb needs to be abducted away from the hand, but mo in most cases, the thumb will be allowed to be left loose. So as with uh, most parts of Paris, we start with a, a comfort layer. This should always go further than your cast is going to go so that the cast doesn't dig into the skin at, at the ends. And you need to go right up to the fingertips. Then if you get everything that you need ready, um, you don't want to be moving things uh, late. So you want to have everything ready so that you can um, get the cast into the right position and not have to try and readjust the position of the cast as it's setting. So we'll dip our plaster of Paris. Lay it on, making sure it goes to the fingertips. You don't want it to cut across the, the thumb. We'll just uh, secure it, but we do this bit as quickly as we can so that we can get onto the moulding before it's set too much. If necessary, I'll just drop the, the, the uh, crepe at that point and leave that so that I can uh, sort that out afterwards. So I'm aiming, remember, for the MCP joints to be at 90 degrees and the PIP joints to be straight. So what I've always found to be the most effective way of doing this is to place my own fist into the patient's palm and push their fingers down onto the back of my hand. So you're sandwiching the fingers between your two hands. Commonest error is to make the, um, the flexion in the plaster too distal, so it is actually flexing a PIP joint rather than the MCP joint. Now, once it's set, we'll tidy up the ends.